there are different people in web development that know more or less about how computers work, right? But honestly, almost nobody in web is doing actual programming. <laughs> That's just how it is. Like doing lots of glue so that you can talk to a database and whatever. It's just like, and I always hear these excuses. Like I have these, I have these conversations on the internet and I'm like, the web is super slow. And they're like, no, it's not. Every response happens in a hundred milliseconds. I was like talking to this guy and he was like, no, everything's a hundred milliseconds. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Then why does the page take a, a second to load? And he's like, no, cause this server talks to that server and that talk server talks to that server and that server talks to that server. And all of those respond within a hundred milliseconds to each other. So it's fat. Like the guy thought that the hundred milliseconds is were in parallel somehow when they're really in series or like, I don't even know, like it was banana cakes. Like the the lack of logic that I was facing in that conversation was crazy. I still don't understand it. Yeah, he thought that like the number of hundred milliseconds is didn't matter or something because it's a hundred milliseconds at the client to even draw the page or so, like, dude, I don't even know. I, I, I can't tell you what the dude was thinking. I just. But yeah, I mean, that's the, the problem with the web world is you almost can't be a good programmer there because there's all this complexity that you're fighting all the time. But it's all fake complexity, right? It, the actual job that you need to do in terms of like fundamentals of computing is not that hard. It's just made hard by all these ways that people have decided to make it hard over the years. And those things have piled up into the aforementioned stack. And dealing with the aforementioned stack is dealing with a bunch of difficulties and complications that shouldn't be there and they don't go away because now we've got a whole generation of people who have grown up with that stuff and thinks it's normal and is how programming is, right? This is why I keep hammering on this because there needs to be some sector of the programming culture that understands that most of this stuff is arbitrary and smells kind of bad and can be done in a much better way, right? As long as we have some people that understand that, we might be able to fix this someday. But once we lose those people, it's GG's. But I also think, I mean, that's also, there's this weird generational problem where you have a bunch of people who are young and excited about programming and then they go into these web companies because like that's the trendy place to go. and. They're just now in these environments where you can't really build skills except for, you know, d the particular skill of dealing with needless complexity. Um, so we're like, we're wasting, there was a joke about, you know, not really a joke, but about, you know, we saw the best minds of our generation spent getting people to click on ads, but it's actually worse than that because they're, they're being put in these environments of like awfulness where they, they can't, they can't really do the thing. So in fact, they don't really know what the thing is really.